everyone, it's Sammy from Sammy Sweet Life, and today I have a very small haul from The Greeting Farm. I just ordered directly from them, thegreetingfarm.com. Over Black Friday, they had a really good coupon deal, and they had a few stamps and things in their store that they did not have at Simon Says Stamp. I usually tend to get my Greeting Farm stamps from Simon Says Stamp, but they didn't have a couple of things. They were sold out of a couple of things, and I don't think I even saw one of the things actually in their store. So I ended up ordering directly from the Greeting Farm, and they had a really good coupon deal for Black Friday. Every once in a while, they run really good coupons just throughout the year. So definitely, if you're a Greeting Farm fan, check out their website. One good thing is I can get U.S. shipping for $4 on my order, which is awesome. It's just the U.S. Postal Service, but I love that I can get super cheap shipping. I think their thing this time might have been free shipping, also including a percent off. So I did order a couple of things, and then they were sold out of one stamp set. And so I placed an additional order actually this afternoon just for a couple of things because they had one stamp set back in stock that I just absolutely had to have. It's one of my favorites from them of all time. And so I was super excited to see it back in stock. I grabbed it totally full price, paid the $4 shipping for it. And I'm so excited to, for that to arrive eventually. So these orders are taking an extremely, extremely long time to arrive, but it is not the fault of the companies. The companies pretty much like the next day or the day after that, they were ready to ship. So it's definitely not them. It's totally the postal service getting bogged down right now. I have an order right now that's supposed to arrive today of yarn and it has almost taken an entire month. It did come from overseas, but usually their shipping is like, they say two to seven days, which my best friend ordered the exact same day as me, just like an hour or two later, but hers shipped that like very shortly after. And then she got her order the next day or the day after that, like super duper quick. And mine took like an additional week to ship and then longer to get here than her order. But that's just kind of what to expect right now with the Postal Service. Everybody's ordering everything now. And so I still have one more order from Simon Says Stamp and then the order from the greeting firm that I just placed. And I'm still waiting on those to arrive. So I will have at least two more hauls for you guys. And hopefully that's all the shopping I'm going to do because it was a lot. <laughs> it, was, it was too much. But I just love all the stuff. I'm getting really back into it. And I wanted to have a whole room full of stuff again. It was It was bad. So... I'm going to tell you guys about in a video coming up and it may already have been put up at this point. I don't know how these hauls are getting spaced out. I'm trying to aim for one to two videos a week. So I'm spacing these hauls out because I don't want to have like a bunch of hauls one week and then nothing the next week. So they are getting spaced out just a tiny bit. Um, but I do have a challenge coming up for 2021. If you've been here for a long time, if you're one of my long time subscribers, you'll know the challenge I started right before getting pregnant with Stella and then I quickly jump ship. So it's going to be a repeat of that, just 2021 version. I'll talk about um, rules and goals and things, and I'm going to really try to commit to it for 2021. We'll see how the world goes. It's just, it's crazy out there right now, guys. This has definitely been a huge escape for me, getting happy mail, um, going crazy, ordering things again. I haven't done this in a long time, so it was really nice to just kind of go nuts. And I'm so excited. I'm so inspired with all the stuff around me. So, so 2021 is going to be the year I get my rear in gear and start scrapbooking more. 2019 being pregnant and then 2020 with everything going on and having a baby and buying a new house. It was just a lot. So I will have a goals video and talk about my challenge for 2021 coming up very soon because it's almost there. Um, but anyway, in the meantime, let's go over this. There was a lot of chit chat. So let's go ahead and dive in. So first up here is Unicorn Dreams, and I'm, I've mentioned this in multiple hauls, I'm just such a sucker for unicorn stuff, and I had seen one of their cards that they made as an inspiration card. It was this unicorn with, I think, rainbow hair, and it was super duper cute, and then I saw one with this unicorn holding the cupcake, and I think the ice cream one was in the same picture, and I'm super excited. I showed you guys in my last haul video the Lawn Fawn stuff, and I got the little cloud die cuts, I totally had this also in mind. I have a specific lawn fawn set I want to use with this, actually two, but this was another one I was like, yes, I'm gonna get that cloud dye and make these cute little unicorn flying things because this one looks like it's floating and this one could be floating. It's definitely, definitely this one could be floating too or this one could be sitting on a cloud. I just have lots of good ideas for all the unicorn, all the rainbow things. So that one is part of that unicorn inspiration. <laughs> I love that one. 
again, called Unicorn Dreams. And then this one, I had seen this one and I've skipped over it a few times and I just like looking at the images because of copyright issues and stuff, um, they have their images kind of like tilted weirdly so you don't get a really good look at them at the thumbnails. But for some reason, I clicked on it and looked through the inspiration pictures and I could not believe how cute they were. It really just looking at it here, it does not do these cuties justice. You have to see these ones colored up with their pictures. That is why those inspiration cards are so important. I saw the pictures of the cards and fell in love with this one. Just super duper cute. I plan on doing a couple of cards with this one just with their heads peeking out, not necessarily showing their bodies like one of the cards. And then I did end up ordering a bunch of the border things from Simon Says Stamp to make scenes. And this one was just perfect for that. It's just little die cut houses. It's called Little Town. You can see they have cute little cuts like the tops of the houses have the little scallops and decorations. The windows are cut out. The little doors are great. I thought these would work great with those scenes that I have planned out. And that's what they look like. They're a nice size. Let's see, I'll pull out the ruler here, like almost two inches on the tallest ones, like with the rooftop chimney there. Um, that one is about two inches, but some of them are a lot smaller, but they're just super cute. I love the size of them. I thought they would work great to make little scenes in the background. You just put them up on the hillsides and things. So I'm really excited about that one. And I think this one was either sold out or not even listed on Simon Says Stamp at the time. So super duper cute, love that one. I think it's an older one. And then this one is another one of the scripty words. I love scripty words. And this one says birthday wishes and it's, it's backwards for you guys. This one doesn't show a card, you can see. It doesn't have an image like this one has the image on the front. And they have a bunch of these scripty words. I just really happen to like this one. Birthday wishes, it fits really nicely on a card. Like this is about the size of a card. So you can put an image over it or under it. I think probably I would put an image over it and just have the birthday wishes really big at the bottom. And it could be really cute. Just a very simple greeting farm card with a creature or a little Anya or something along with that big birthday wishes. So I have good plans for this one. I love anything thank you and birthday, especially because those are the cards that I make. <laughs> so there you go. It's just a really cute scripty font. And they have quite a few different ones of these, but this one just happened to catch my eye. And that's it. It's just a really quick, simple haul. This was placed after I had placed my Simon Says Stamp and my Scrapbook.com hauls, which were the bulk of my crazy ordering. But there you go. There you go, just four things from them. I'm very excited to dive in. I can't wait for my Simon Says Stamp order to arrive so I can start playing around with the hillsides and things and make little scenes. I can put the little people in front. It'll be super, my elbow keeps like hitting. <laughs> so if you hear like a weird noise, that's my elbow hitting this mat really hard. Um, but I, I'm just really excited to dive in and make some things and do some cloud things with this. And I think that's it. I'm gonna really try to have a card project for you guys this Friday, hopefully using up some of this new stuff to just play around with it and enjoy my scrappy time. So I hope you guys like this video. Give me a thumbs up, subscribe, and I will catch you next time. Have a great day, guys. Bye. Bye. <laughs> and so I'm totally not kidding when I say I'm like obsessed with unicorns. I went through my stamps to make sure because I thought I only had one of the Greeting Farm unicorn sets. I know they had two. So I was looking through all the things and I realized I needed to go look in my stamp stuff because I wanted to get the second unicorn set. And then I was like, I know there's an exclusive one with Simon Says Stamp. Was this the exclusive one? I'm not sure. And I found this one as well. <laughs> so, okay. And then I ordered the third Greeting Farm unicorn set because they're super cute. I just, I'm a sucker for them. So all things unicorn, then I got the unicorn thingamabob there. I've got more unicorns coming and I've got other things to go with the cloud dyes that I've been talking about nonstop. I just really, really love them. So I got that other unicorn set and I do have another unicorn set that I do not have. It's a, I actually don't know if it's unicorns. It's fur maids, so mermaids. I don't know if it had any Norwals or unicorn-esque things, but I almost got that set today, but I was like, I just ordered a bunch of things. I need to be a little bit good. Not for everything, but 
Now we've got unicorns like crazy. And you can see this one has yellowed over time. It's something that just happens with some stamp sets. They all can do that over time. But there you go. I'm very excited to make a unicorn everything. <laughs>